It was June 1988 at 3.45am. I was awoken by a phone call from my co-presenter from The Really Wild Show, Terry Nutkins. He was shouting and he'd clearly been drinking again. What is it? I said to Terry. They've hit another one, he cried. I knew exactly what he was talking about. It was another badger. Terry and I had been watching a badger set in Lindhurst, just outside the New Forest, for two weeks now. Sadly, a regular occurrence had been motorists running them over and not, gi not giving a second thought. We would often finish our night watches driving past the lifeless bodies every morning. It was like our own wildlife Vietnam, but for Terry, it was very real. Every day I'd see Terry getting more and more angry and upset. He wanted to kill these drivers. He'd always had a dark side since an otter bit off two of his fingers and then ran away, probably into some water somewhere. Terry, please calm down, I pleaded. His breathing was getting really heavy. I know the car. I'm going after him. He's brown bread. This was serious. Terry was using Cockney rhyming slang for the word dead. I jumped out of bed and drove to his house. At his home I found Terry holding a bottle of whiskey half drunk and a sawn off shotgun laying on the table. Several shells were scattered on top of a copy of the National Geographic. Terry, what have you done? He then gestured to a large walk-in cupboard just opposite the living room. In there, his voice trembled. I slowly opened the door and there was a man tied up and gagged absolutely terrified. Terry had clearly followed his vehicle and kidnapped him and brought him back. He'd also gone to work on his face rather badly. I then spent the next hour of reasoning with Terry to let the man go. Any more incidents like this and the BBC would surely give his job to Rolf Harris. We both hated this absolute nonce and agreed there was no way we were ever going to let this happen to him. I gave our captive badger murderer a few slaps around the face myself just to make sure he got the message not to run over any more of our furry friends. Then Terry and I let him go. We then sat up drinking whiskey and talked about sparrowhawks until dawn. Whenever I think of shotguns or assholes driving BMWs too fast, I always think of my very good friend Terry Nutkins. Thank you, Terry.